Bobby from the Vespasian Warner Public Library, and I am here with another tale from the archive where we talk about objects and documents in our local history collection. Today we are going to be talking about this gentleman, Andrew Jackson Smith. Andrew Jackson Smith was actually born as a slave in Kentucky. His mother, Susan, was also a slave. His father, Elijah Smith, was the slave owner. In 1862, his master, Elijah Smith, had already enlisted in the Confederate Army and was fighting with his sons when Andrew Jackson Smith got word that his master was going to send for him to help with the war effort. Obviously, Smith did not want to help with the Confederate war effort, so he fled from his plantation and made his way up north to Paducah. In Paducah, Kentucky, he happened to meet Major John Warner, who was serving with the 41st, 41st Illinois Regiment. Major Warner hired Smith to be his personal servant, and Smith was with Major Warner at the Battle of Shiloh and actually helped him replace two horses that were shot underneath him during the battle. In the midst of finding horses, Smith was wounded with a mini ball to the face. Major Warner was also disabled during the Civil War and came back to Clinton, and Andrew Jackson Smith came with him to ser still serve as his servant. At that point in time, uh, black Americans were not allowed to enlist in the Army. But in 1863, that changed. Black Americans were allowed to enlist in the Army, so Andrew Jackson Smith signed right up. He was mustered into the 55th Massachusetts All-Colored Regiment where he fought with distinction and at the Battle of Honey Hill in 1864 he saw that the color bearer of the regiment had actually fallen so Smith picked up the colors and pushed forward helping to lead his regiment through all kinds of heavy gunfire and because of this bravery in 2001 he was awarded posthumously the Congressional Medal of Honor. So thank you for joining me for this tale from the archive and I hope to see you soon.